Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Ken from Travel the World with Tor Ken. If you are new from my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded a new videos. And leave also a comment if you have any questions or any help that will improve my channel. Enjoy watching Ken from Travel the World with Tor Ken. Welcome to the capital city of Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo. Discover the 100 years old city of Santo Domingo de Guzman, is the Dominican Republic, and visit the first European settlement in America through the history and culture of the country and the traditions of its inhabitants. Santo Domingo is an incredible city made up of history, culture, and tradition that should increase while traveling in Dominican Republic. At night, you won't be able to avoid dancing to the rhythm of Caribbean music, tasting its cuisine, or participating in traditional festives that the city offers in many of its events throughout the year. The Choo Choo offers a tour of 45 minutes all along the Ciudad Colonia, allowing you to learn about its 500 years of history. Along the way, you will be able to watch more than 25 monuments of historical interest and discover their secrets and anecdotes. You'll also discover the stories and legends of the mysterious character hiding in a Casa de Tapal, the importance of the beautiful colonial churches, and many more things the tour starts in El Condos. In the same city, we'll be witness of the passing of the time over different buildings, streets, squares, and parks. Stroll down 100 years old streets and contemplate the different colonial houses and fortifications that keep the charm of previous centuries, both of their facades and inside. The inhabitants of Santo Domingo have been the reasons to be proud of their country, but above them all stand the struggle for independence. That's why there are numerous monuments, buildings, parks, and museums in honor of those who fought for it. The Cathedral of Santo Domingo, better known as Primada de America Cathedral, was declared in 1546 the first cathedral of the New World by the Pope Paul III at the request of the Emperor Charles V. This gorgeous Mano Basilica is dedicated to Santa Maria de la Encarnacion. Its exterior display a Gothic style with the Renaissance ornaments from between 1514 and 1546. The faked has three doors, being the main of the North Gothic door which is communicated with the cold part. The south door of the gate of Geraldini, also a Gothic style, is known as the Forgiveness Gate because in old times, the politically persecuted people who cruised it were immediately forgiven. The Great Gate is Palatirist in style and is prior to a small atrium that was used as a market during the times of Haiti. On the upper part of the fake gate, you observe the coat of arms of Charles the Pope. On its inside, you will discover the greatest works of art, which are located all along the cathedral, like for example, the panel painting of the Altar Gracia Virgin from 1523, as well as the atom stone of the different archbishops and the other elements from colonial times. Moreover, during some times, the building contained the remains of Christopher Columbus before they were moved to the Faro Acolon. The main altar has an Baroque retable. Despite the fact that the first cornstone of the cathedral was laid by Diego Colon in 1540, the construction work were continuously displayed due to the loss of wealth 
of the builders who abandoned the place looking for a gold and other new colonies like Mexico in 1519. The Bishop Alejandro Geraldini, because of the awful conditions of the project, restarted in until completions in 1540. It was founded by Bartolome Columbus in 1496 in the east shore of the Ozama River, but later moved to the west side by Nicolas de Obando due to the destructions by the hurricane in 1502. Santo Domingo was the first headquarters of the colonial Spanish government in the New World. It is beautiful space considered part of the world heritage of Santo Domingo. On its origins, there were several constructions erected around it, being the first colonial houses throughout all the continents. It was surrounded by imposing buildings and residences, such as the cathedral or a council. Among other interesting constructions, during colonial times, the square was a place for celebrating parties and events of all the society at the time responsible right as the Casa Duarte Museum. National Pension, located in the colonial area. This convent is the old church of the Company of Jesus, whose building was finished at the end of the 18th century in 1793. The interior, also known as Patreon de la Patria, is made up by a central cross shape made with the lateral chapels. Since its opening, it has been used for several purposes theater, tobacco storage, or even the headquarters of the public office. Due to its conservation status, it was restored in 1955 and used since then as a mausoleum, housing the memorials and paying homage to the different patriots or heroes from the country. Among them, you can see the memorial of General Santana, first president of the republic, and the nephew of Francisco del Rosario Sanchez, Maria Trinidad Sanchez, considered a popular heroine who was executed together with her uncle under the command of General Santana. On its interior, you can observe that it's a strange structure is decorated with the modern paintings located on the dome and a bronze candelabra hanging from the center of the chapel, which was gift from the Spanish dictator, Francisco Panco. Moreover, you will also be able to enjoy the historical buildings surrounding it. Ruins of San Nicolas de Bari Hospital Founded in 1502, by the governor Nicolas de Obando. The Nicolas de Bari stand out as the first hospital in Dominican Republic, or more specifically in La Española. From its beginnings, it was used as an health center and a church. It started being a modish building made of wood and straw, but later on, they were substituted by the masonry bricks, and other materials of the time. Thanks to the help of the Compradilla de Nuestra Señora de la Concepción Brotherhood. They stand out as the three treasure of the Ciudad Colonia. At the beginning, its space was divided into three knives, being the central one, a chapel, and the other two distance for the aid of the city. From 1522 on, the hospital began operating until the 18th century, when it was definitely abandoned. If you choose the night to make it a visit, you will be able to admire the mixture of mystery and the beauty provided by its lighting.
San Francisco Church and Monastery. The original building of the Monastery of San Francisco was built in wood in 1508 on the top of the hill, and its purpose was to be used by the Order of San Francisco. Due to the weakness of the materials, as well as the weather condition and the barrier assault, they decided to rebuild in the stone. The new building was erected between 1523 and 1664, although the changes made in the 18th centuries are the ones that can be still be appreciated on the ruins. Due to the abandonment of the construction, the vaults filled down, but nowadays it can still be seen a place where the chapel of the Third Order, the convent and the church were established. Despite this, the place of the ruins is being used for a social and cultural events and it is protected by the National Standing Committee of Efeniris, homeland of the Dominican Republic. Plaza España Square, located in front of the Alcazar de Colón, the Columbus Fortress. This monumental square, also known as a Plaza de la Hispanidad, houses the statue of the founder of the city, Nicolas de Ubando, on the occidental bank of the river. Moreover, in front of the historical royal houses, there's in 1753, San Clac. Welcome to Alcazar de Colón. The Alcazar is one of the most relevant spots in the Ciudad Colonial and the first fortified palace in the New World. This monumental building has 55 rooms as well as 72 doors and windows that have been witnesses of the most important meetings in which conquerors like Cortes, Velazquez, or Balboa plan to colonize Mexico, Cuba, or Peru. Among other territories, from the architecture stands out the fact that they didn't use a single nail to build a different rooms of the palace. Puerta San Diego Gate Protected by the San Diego Port, the Puerta San Diego Gate is the only ornamented door in the city and it presents fantasy architecturic elements with a plasteric style, also known as a gate of the sea is flanked by columns that are attached to the walls. It is located besides the Alcazar de Colón, the Columbus Fortress, and on the entrance of the Plaza de España Square. Nowadays, it can be visited since it is very good conditions. Tostado House Museum one of the oldest houses in Santo Domingo, the Tostado House Museum, which was built in the 14th century and whose name comes from the first owner, notary of the governor, on its faithful. It can be seen at germinated windows on a Gothic Elizabethan style, which is unique in America. Padre Bellini Square, dedicated to the well-known Philharmonic and the teacher Padre Bellini, and it was built at the end of the 19th century. I'm Ken from Travel the World with Dora Ken. Thank you for your love and support to my channel. Just leave your comments, what did you saw, or any feedbacks that will help and my channel to improve in the future. Sharing my travel experience that maybe it will help you on your future travel destination plan. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded a new video. Stay safe and take care. Thank you.